uh, briefed the council about the political process, where it is, uh, what's been agreed so far in the context of consultations among Yemenis and issues that are still remaining and um, uh, highlighting the need you know, for uh, moving forward with this transition. Uh, Yemeni people have suffered um, throughout this crisis and uh, this crisis had um, severe implications in terms of the economic, humanitarian and security aspects and um, Yemenis um, want to move with a quick transition and um, you know this is what uh, all international effort, regional effort, has been focusing on, and our work, and the, in the context of the good offices of Secretary General, the, the, there is an agreement that is signed already, just the agreement between the uh, ruling party and the uh, opposition, and um, there have been since then um, efforts, you know, to develop a mechanism for the implementation. That mechanism is really the document that describes in more detail, you know, how the transition is going to be organized. And in this context, there have been agreement on some of the key aspects, you know, a transition that will start with a transfer of power to the vice president, leading to early elections with a consensus candidate, um, and then um, um, a transition period that will last for two years, during which uh, a process of constitution making will take place, electoral reform and a national dialogue bringing together all the various um, political trends in the country to look at the country's structural and transitional issues. The Secretary General has uh, 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 repeatedly said that you know, he will do his best to assist the Yemenis in this time of crisis and uh, we are assisting in, uh, in, in various ways and you know, we are present in the, through our whole you know, UN system. We have humanitarian um, agencies in the country, development agencies, we have the human rights part of the UN engaged with Yemen and um, you know, the good offices of the Secretary General will continue. The security situation has deteriorated very dramatically, you know, definitely. Um, uh, government officials acknowledge that five to six provinces are out of government control. Um, there is a large area in the north that is controlled now by the um, Houthi insurgency. It's the province of Sada, and now with the expanded um, in the Juf province. Um, uh, there, is, uh, there have been uh, dramatic development in the south in more recent weeks, recent months, you know, with the rise of Al-Qaeda in the south, um, um, capturing, occupying um, uh, three cities and uh, an important geographic area. Um, the city itself of Sana'a is divided in three, uh, one controlled by um, government forces, one controlled by um, General Ali Mohsin, one controlled by tribal militias loyal to um, Hamid al-Ahmar, the security situation is deteriorating and we have seen also clashes uh, just north of, of, of the capital which threaten um, uh, the airport, the international airport. Um, this is, these are serious um, uh, developments.